Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is Deathwish coming to you from Skyrim. Figured I haven't made a video in about an hour, so I whipped this one up. I'm gonna make this quick, though. This is gonna be more of kind of a review, kind of my first thoughts on Skyrim. And, of course, let you guys know about the, uh, the two CD keys I'm giving out in this video. Uh, I've decided to actually just put the CD keys in the description bar, so open that up. You pretty much are going to ignore the rest of what I say anyway. This is going to make this really easy for me. And just follow the instructions and get them there. Make sure you get them before everybody else. Don't have a lot of subscribers, so I doubt that you're going to have a lot of competition. I wouldn't be surprised if you could get it even after 20 minutes after uh, seeing this video. So... So anyway, let's uh, let's get down to this. One thing, like I've noticed, like almost right off the bat, like I didn't equip it and figure this out right off the bat, but once I noticed that I could equip things in two different hands, like two different spells, two different hands, or weapons in a spell or whatever, I realized that I realized this is definitely a big improvement for Skyrim because Oblivion you had to get mods to dual wield. <laughs> And, I mean, that's really kind of what everybody was always wanting in Oblivion anyway. I mean, people are always making their own mods, had a hard time perfecting it, and there's different ways you can do it as well. But they also have, like, talent points in this, kind of like um, World of Warcraft does. Like, let's see here. So go up with the skills. So I haven't put my talent points into destruction, though. I love magic. There we are. So basically, your talent points follow the stars or whatever. So, you I mean, once you pick them, the stars that you're actually talent points uh, light up brighter for you. So, that's your basic talent points for that. Complete room. Sorry, I was reading that. But anyway, that's easily. I mean, that's easily a big improvement. One of the biggest uh, noticeable changes I've noticed in this. And, and the uh, spells, I mean, they're a little harder to equip really fast because, uh, or at least I haven't figured out how to equip spells faster. But let's do uh, Flame and Sparks. That's just awesome. I'm a major spellcaster for uh, the Elder Scrolls series. In fact, I made a race in Oblivion that was a uh, arcane elf race that was basically made to primarily cast magic. The strength was really weak, but the magic was really high and actually came with an automatic magic regen so you can cast faster and cast longer. The only thing I have noticed in this one, though, is it seems like the terrain... It's a little bit more plain. I mean, I know I'm in this city. I have to actually leave before you actually see a difference when the terrain changes. But uh, past that, I mean, I mean, easily it looks better. But the terrain just seems like there's less work in this than it was in Bol Oblivion. Or just maybe I haven't played Oblivion in a bit. And here, let me leave out of the town here. There we are. So, I mean, the train... I don't know. I just... I feel like there was more to the terrain in Oblivion than there is in Skyrim. I mean, obviously, Skyrim... They both seem like completely different games, but they've seen improvements on both sides. I'd still have to say Morrowind was probably my best... Uh, had the best spell mechanics. But... Yeah, this is still good too. Oblivion, you'd have like grass everywhere. I mean, it would just be f like completely cluster the ground with grass. Maybe I don't have my settings turned up all the way. I think I thought I turned them up all the way at least. It should be turned up all the way. But um, oh, that's another thing right here. The wildlife is a little bit more. Well, uh, obviously the wildlife looks better in the newer game better uh, meshes and better graphics for the wildlife, but honestly, they don't really act as realistic as you think they would in uh, Oblivion. I mean, they obviously run better in, like, skeleton uh, layout-wise. 
but I mean, you can walk like five feet up before they even notice you and start running away. You don't like cast your spells so far is something I've noticed it really isn't something that uh, I personally really like. I like being able to cast your spells from like forever away. But I mean, I do kind of like the fact that you can basically have a flamethrower. Uh, anyway, I should probably wrap this up. I'm way too tired. I'm probably not doing that good at commentary, but if you haven't noticed from my last video, I'm definitely gotten better at the commentary, so that's a definite plus. Physics are obviously a lot better, and Oblivion, I mean, you wouldn't have been able to push that around. Things can still fly unrealistically far, though, when you hit them with stuff. But then again, it is a fun game nonetheless, so what more can you complain about, right? got this person following me but I mean really I'm basically st stretching this out more than I have to I mean by now you guys have obviously have figured out how to get the codes in but uh, that's mainly what this video is for but I do want to know though what do you guys want to see me do because my biggest concern with me making videos right now is the fact that I really don't know what you guys want like I want to do so much and so so many different things but I'm nervous that I might add or put way too many videos on or post one thing you guys might hate and one thing you guys might like I really just want to know what do you guys want to see I mean ultimately I don't have a lot of subscribers so I'm really nervous that I might ruin my chance of being a bigger youtuber before I even have the chance to really get better you know so let me know, post in the comments what you guys think that I should do or what type of videos you actually want to see me do. Because I kind of want to do uh, let's play, tutorials, reviews, um, just really anything. I want to kind of show off montage, well, not really montages, but more or less like gameplay and just commentary. Just basically everything. But I know not everybody can just go and do everything, you know? Usually people when they make a channel they stick to one thing, and that's what they do. But uh, I, I just want to know what you guys want, you know? Because you guys are the ones I'm trying to please, and I want to do everything, but I know that I have to also please you guys. So let me know what you guys think. Ooh. Oh, sure. The one thing I want to kill, and it runs away before I even get to it. What's that bunny? Damn it. Figures. Uh, but yeah. This game's obvious. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Getting it, getting it. That's why I love magic casters. Or magic users. Just because they're magic, they can do anything. But anyway, um, yeah, definitely. I'm just, I'm mumbling on and on, talking on and on. I'm way too tired to keep, to keep at this. That's why I tried keeping it short. But anyway, uh, just let me know what you guys want to see. Uh, let me know what you guys think I should improve on. And let me know exactly what type of games you want to see. But past that, I think this game actually has a lot of potential. I still have a lot more I have to play before I can even give an accurate review. But definitely, one of the things I like is the dual wielding, the spells and weapons. It's easily a plus. I do kind of like the uh, the attributes um, in the sense that when you level up, you can kind of pick your spec and pick perks. It's kind of cool, but at the same time, I kind of what I liked about this game originally was that no matter what you did, you can always work to be better, and you could better everything and go every path you wanted to if you worked hard enough or worked long enough and do just do everything in the game. And I think Skyrim might be taking that away, but I haven't played it enough to really figure that out. But anyway, have a great day, and thanks for watching.